Hello, this is DZ with GameStorm, and I'm welcoming you back to more Mass Effect 3 Adept Insanity. Last time, or rather, the last three parts were pretty much just the opening cutscenes and tutorial and whatnot for the game, but this time we've arrived here on Mars and going to be exploring around and see what's up with the archives. So, there's that. We're going to actually be uh, a little bit of gameplay this time, and I do want to change my loadout. See, I'm at 185%. That's pretty decent. That's probably what it's going to have to stay at for quite a while. Let's see what I have with just the assault rifle. 185%. Yeah, that's pretty decent. I think I'm going to go with only the assault rifle right now. And these guys, I actually don't have a shotgun for him right now. Uh, Bruce Squat Thrust over here only can use assault rifles and Shotguns, your your character, Shepard, can use everything, and I do not want to play Battlefield 3. And Ashley can use a sniper and an assault rifle. So, your party members will be limited to two, and... Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> your party members will be limited to two weapons, but Shepard can have all five if he wants to, but that would probably be uh, hindering, especially on an Adept. And we have Cerberus. Holy shit. They're executing them. Well, that's no good. Let's see if I can't crash the party. Did that not biically explode the bitch? There we go. Pretty much just want to be spamming warp on these guys. They are, uh... And grenades are bad. Okay. Um. Anything without, uh... Armor or shields like that is susceptible to pull or throw. And I really like pull. Renders them absolutely useless, just like throws them up in the air. And last guy, I think. Whoops, wrong ability. My bad. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Pull's kind of like singularity, except it's on a target. And with a much less cooldown. That's what I like about it. That's why I was using that over Singularity, because Singularity is area of effect. And I know I'm waiting to get surprise bitched. Here we go. And he just rolled my throw. What's the deal with that? That is a grenade. Grenades are bad. We're gonna want to move up. See if I can't hit that guy with a warp. Hit him with one, two. And pretty much to make biotic explosions, just, just like random combinations of biotics will work. Singularity into warp, warp into throw, uh, pull into pretty much anything if they're midair, uh, and you hit them with a biotic, they'll, they'll die, <laughs> they'll, they'll blow up. And with the Adept, I'm going to be pretty much focusing on using nothing but biotic explosions all the time, every day blow stuff up, cause lots of damage, and I have been neglecting to use my squad powers. Been kind of busy with my own, but that won't be an issue. I'll get used to it. That's kind of why I turned their uh, automatic power usages off. I need a straight answer, Shepard. About what? Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? Freaking <laughs> suspicious McBitch face over there. Highly suspicious of what we're doing. I go, but you worked for Cerberus. I had no contact with Cerberus since I disabled the collector base, and I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Yeah, you know how it is. Sorry, Shepard. I just... I shouldn't have and to explain did, I, <laughs> did I accidentally skip them taking off their helmets or something? The dialogue option kind of popped up really fast. And what do we have here? Please. Trust me. I do. Uh, why did they show my health bar and in-game HUD there for like two seconds? What was the deal with that? Oh, 
<laughs> are they seriously chasing her through the air ducts? And how are they missing her in the air ducts? Is your accuracy that bad? I mean, there's not much room for error. You're in a small ass tunnel. How can you miss that? And there's that. Blowing. Could have. If that was Liar there, I would have just blew their ass up. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Yeah, slow down there, truck bench. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard. Yeah. It was difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. She knows what's Maybe. up. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When I got the data on the Alpha Relay incident, I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. I contacted him as an information broker, and we pooled our resources looking for a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you. I, was <laughs> I love interrupting people. I, could do to help you anyway. I, suppose I should probably stop doing that, though. <laughs> In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blue. Well, that's not nearly as useful. We had a minute. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came Love to asking questions. the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. Yes, might be. So it's a race to the Archives. And cue battle music. They're getting the blow torches going after the door. You know how it is. Bring it on. Not this time. Go set your ass out. Get back to the show. Go to the sidelines, bro. Bioware knows what's up. They know who we want to sit on the bench. Which is actually a bit ironic because I, I think I'm going to be using old uh, steroid McRipped face over there. Because he has lots of HP. Hold RB to display the power wheel. <coughs> Sneeze. I'm sorry for that. Ah. Select singularity. Press A to use singularity. There you go. Hooray. I'm going to use my own. Now, now they're just <laughs> floating all over the place. And go ahead and warp some fishes. And Sonic Boom. Oh, that was easy enough. Med kit. We want me to do what? Oh, there's like a lift over here somewhere. Aha. They've sabotaged. Son of a bitch. Look for another way out. Uh there should be like a button or something. Yeah. Let's see. How about this? Hooray! Double tap A while moving towards low cover to quick climb. And jump over and butt slide. Working with the Reapers. Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Quick little fun fact. Liara here uh, is <laughs> if you have followed my channel at all, you know that I've done a let's play of Final Fantasy 13. 
And Liara has the same voice actor as Lightning from Final Fantasy XIII, so... Hooray! I can't believe I didn't notice that. Will I get hurt by that grenade? Okay, good. Let's see if I can't pull that guy. There we go. And Sonic Boom. That didn't kill him. What the fuck? Alright. Pull. Very useful. If they don't roll over it. And I'm about to blow up, so I should probably skedaddle on out of here. And pretty much the combo I'm going to be going for right now on these unarmored guys is your basic pull into warp. Lowest cooldown, lots of damage, you know how it is. Hello, dead guy. That's, uh, kind of gross, or something like that. Mm, Q Wheatley hacking cutscene sequence, whatever. She sits there for as long as possible, but of course Shepard has to step in. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but Paige, you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Headway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. All right. Let's do it. Like they, like they do on the Discovery Channel. Hooray! A doorway followed by another doorway. And got the got the helmet back on. That was their cutscene for that. I wasn't paying attention. And right stick the luck. Fight. That term heads to the archives once Cerberus is across. No one wants to talk to you, bro. Storm's causing interference. Well, it is. Um. Is there anything in here for me? No. Where am I supposed to go? Uh. Wait, what? Okay, it's just really dark. There we go. And I hate the dark. So all these guys, they got the airlock opened on them, and suffocated. And, lol to Cameron Harrison. I know someone named Cameron Harrison. That is hilarious. Wait, I take that back. His last name's Harris, but... So, uh, do this. Can I... Can I, uh, melee these guys? Yeah! Insta kill. I hit him with the singularity. I'll do the warp. And happy times. And I I hate how they can just roll through my shit. It's very upsetting. <laughs> they they just do a barrel roll and you know deflects projectiles. Do I have to override that door? Looks like it. There we go. There's pressure. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Do I have to? <laughs> you gonna make me watch it? Come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Oh, got some debauchery, if you know what I'm saying. No, that's not debauchery. <laughs> we know how Cerberus got in. That was a joke. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? That'd be, that'd be bad. So let's uh. Them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix. Come on, Liara. I know. 
Talk about emo. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks. I want to believe you. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. <laughs> 